So let's start by grabbing all the information from this input form. And I'm going to be accessing um, a, a lot of different fields in the post form. So I'm going to create a utility function for get post value. And it's going to take the name of a key field in the post form, which is the name of a form field. And it's going to say if is set dollar sign under post, so key, then I'm going to return HTML entities of post sub key. Otherwise, I'm just going to return an empty string. So now let's go ahead and use it in our login page. We're all, we've already required utilities. So let's grab login username is get post value of login username key and password is get post value of login password key and register username is get post value register username key and register password is get post value register password key and register confirm password is get post value register confirm password key so now we have all of our values and to make these field values sticky, these form values sticky, I'm going to go ahead and break this down a little bit. And I'm going to do that for all of these just so that it's a little easier to work on because these lines are long. And I'll do that with these three as well. And then I'm going to add values to each of these input boxes, which are PHP islands. So let me go ahead and add value equals a PHP island. And this is the login username. So if there is a login username value in the post data, it's going to be used to fill in this particular field. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the register username key. So that's going to be right here. So now that's sticky as well. Now, I'm of two minds on these login password key, register password key, register confirm password key, because on the one hand, if you've typed in the password but you have something else wrong, maybe you don't want to type those in again. So as a convenience feature, it's handy to do it. But on the other hand, if I go ahead and put this right in the value for this key and somebody views the paid source, they're going to see the password that the user entered in the form in clear text. And so that's a potential security hassle. If somebody attempts to log in, doesn't complete the process, 
walks away from their browser, somebody else could walk up and, and look at that stuff. So I'm going to leave this up to you, whether you want to implement this or not. Um, but on the whole, I think it's a useful enough feature that I'm going to go ahead and do it. So let me go ahead and say value is login password. And then here, let's go ahead and copy that. And then here is going to be register password. And then here is going to be register confirm password. Okay, so now those values should be sticky. Let's try them. One, two, three, four, five. And if I hit the login button, all these values were set. This one's missing, so I have a little issue here. So let's go ahead and look at this login password up here. Morgan password key. Let's go ahead and put a breakpoint on this line and see what we get. Can I turn on debugging? No, let's turn on debugging. Okay, so let's look at the post data. I do have a login password. So login password is false. Oh, that wrong. That should be get post value. So autocomplete, useful when you pay attention to what it's doing. So get post value. There. So sticky sticky. And as I said, the downside is if you right-click and view paid source and confirm. See, I have value 2 right here in plain text. So I'm not sure I would do this on a real site, but I'm going to go ahead and do it here anyhow. 